but um, my main purpose here is to launch uh, this beautiful magazine. Um, and looking at this uh, magazine, it's exactly what I hope, and we've had rightly so, rightly so, uh, strong emphasis on the leaders of the rebellion and the visionaries and the people who gave up their lives uh, for the, the nationhood. Um, so adding to the narrative is these stories here, beautifully presented, um, asking people in the area to try and recall their own memories. Obviously the North King Street massacre, and it was a massacre, there was no other way to describe it, and it was described as a massacre uh, in the newspapers uh, at the time. That's uh, written about him here. As you can see, it's uh, beautifully presented, and again, I've been saying it uh, all week, that the, the, there are what's the word, there are uncomfortable truths and the state needs to and it's, I know it's difficult and it's complex and especially when you have different political parties but one of the things we need to do in terms of talking about the rising and the formation of the state and the country as it was a hundred years ago is try to engage young people and get them to start recording even their own parents or whatever, their own grandparents, their memories and what they were told because obviously were slipping quickly away in terms of generations from a hundred years ago. And I think this is a fantastic uh, manuscript, a fantastic document and it also reminds us um, of the need to uh, try and record stuff. Anyone who's involved in archives knows that uh, there's a serious issue now about how to archive uh, emails and digital records of uh, events, how to archive eyewitness uh, accounts and the paper archive is quickly uh, disappearing and I'm glad to see not, not only that this is done in beautiful paper but actually it's done in such a, uh, an accessible way and this is the type of document that should be going into schools as well, <coughs> this is the type of document that will engage because I think young people especially uh, can find it difficult to engage with history and difficult to engage with concepts but if they pick a story of somewhere they lived if they pick Sean, Sean Healy's plaque up there in Fisbra and to walk in the ghostly steps of those uh, young people it gives a connection and it reminds people as well that uh, life isn't a continuum in many, in many ways it's a, it's a circle it comes back around uh, again and also that the connections as we're discovering even here tonight, from people who didn't know they had connections, our connections to ordinary people who lived in extraordinary times and ordinary people who did extraordinary things, that our connections to them are very, very close, and in many cases, much closer uh, to, uh, much closer than we believe. So, with a round of applause uh, on your behalf, I formally want to. Uh, and I hope everyone gets a copy of this. I hope there's one for everyone in the audience. I'm just dying, dying to say that for you. Dying, you might never get to say that. So can I say it again? I'll be saying it for everyone in the audience. The Stony Matter of Smithfield People's History Project, this beautiful magazine, the 1916 Rising in Stony Matter, Smithfield, and the markets is uh, formally available at the count of every hundred. Well done to all of